the UBC Therapeutics Initiative has been an independent watchdog over the safety of prescription drugs. Its supporters say it's in jeopardy. Will you give an unequivocal promise right now that if you become Premier, the Therapeutics Initiative won't be compromised or eliminated? Yeah, I, I think uh, you know, I'd be, uh, be happy to do that. So when I was Health Minister, as you know, from 05 to 09... And you didn't... Uh, it, the Therapeutics Initiative was retained while you yes, were Health Minister. Yes, it was. So the, and, and my understanding from the current Health Minister is that he, he also supports the Therapeutics Initiative. So I know there were suggestions when I was Health Minister that the Therapeutics Initiative was in jeopardy. You mean the current Health Minister, Colin Hansen? Or, the, or, or your opponent, Kevin oh, Falcon. Now you're, now you're tricking me. I forgot about that. That's right. Uh, so you're uh, saying Kevin Falcon will retain the therapeutics initiative? I believe he will, yeah. Uh, as far as I understand, he, uh, he is a supporter of it. So, but, but let me just back up a little bit. So TI was, was part of the discussion in the pharmaceutical review that we understood, I think, in 2007-2008. Um, Don Amison chair that. Why do we have so many pharmaceutical representatives or people with ties to the pharmaceutical industry there, on that panel? There, there were people with, with, there were a couple of people with ties to it. There were also a variety of people who had just pro professional expertise. I mean, um, unless one wants to tie the, the chair of the Department of Pharmacy at UBC to the industry, and I, which I think would be unfair. I think, I think the, in fact, the task force had some great expertise on it. We thought it was appropriate to have people from the industry on it because we they could offer their perspective. But there were also people on there who, who would have quite a different view uh, about pharmacy than they did. And we tried to get a fair balance of people on there so that we had a, a practical and pragmatic uh, approach to this issue. Uh, pharmaceuticals are a big challenge for the Ministry of Health and for government. Uh, it, the, uh, the cost of the, just the pharma side of the ministry is about a billion dollars a year and we were constantly under pressure to try to find ways of reducing costs of that part of our budget and so the having the pharmaceutical review was part of that and in fact the TI has proven to be a pretty effective way of, uh, of uh, pushing down uh, drug costs and drug pressure um, so I mean, we, we respect that the TI has a role what the, what the pharmaceutical review said was that the process of review should be more inclusive and should be more open and transparent so that there was a clearer understanding of why uh, if, uh, if pharmaceutical XYZ was, was uh, recommended for refusal, what were the reasons for that? And, and I think that's fair. We, do, we do demand transparency for a whole lot of things that are associated with government, and it's fair enough we should demand some some accountability there. Uh, also, there's a variety of groups who've often claimed that TI is too close to structure, needs to have uh, more inclusivity. I think that's fair. Um, you know, again, these are trying to uh, trying to balance off these various pressures that that exist in the world of pharma.